Hey, this will be a video chart on HFBG. I think I did this one a couple days ago, to be honest, I can't remember. Um, but regardless, I know I've been following it, and this chart not only had a good day, but it makes a great example of how you can play these uh, big burst kind of plays like this, where you get a big uh, sudden uh, surge of volume, and you know where, how you can get good entries on these. So that's how I'm going to start off before I update the chart. It's just simply uh, kind of go over a little uh, educational lesson here. But let's go back and, you know, here's a chart here. Well, the first thing is the people that notice this surge in volume, you know, uh, probably nibbled on some shares here. And that paid off for them as that made a huge move. But this was really the volume day that caught most people's attention. These other volume days, yeah, that was nice, but this is what caught most people's attention. And the thing with these is they're kind of risky when you buy them up here. But if you wait for pullbacks, and pullbacks being, you know, wait for these moving averages to catch up to the price and as you can see each day that goes by these moving averages get closer and closer um, you know that's what presents you with a good uh, entry area so you can see here you know we had the pullback the moving averages were catching up and most importantly check out the volume much less volume so it's not like these pullbacks were happening on some huge volume days nothing like that so see seeing low volume like this that's kinda what builds confidence is because you know you're not the, the, you know a bunch of shares aren't coming down you know hitting the market or anything like that it's just simply profit takers uh, so the people that noticed that and were kind of just you know accumulating here you know got their payoff today as the price really rebounded nicely um, nice volume also now the key question becomes is this just a one day wonder type move or is there more strength behind it uh, the good news is it's pretty easy to, to measure out these things with charts uh, the easiest way that we're going to be able to figure out whether or not this is a one-day wonder or has some true strength behind it is just by simply using some uh, resistance levels. And if the price can get above the resistance levels, but more importantly maintain those levels, then that's what's really showing that the bulls, you know, this is a stronger move, uh, you know, longer term rather than just a one or two day type thing. So where are these resistance levels? The first one got through today but couldn't quite close above it. So technically still resistance is just this previous high up here at 0 0.0013. This will be the first level that we want to watch and monitor and see if the bulls can get above it. Now if this is a, a truly strong move, uh, this shouldn't be too hard to get above because it's already broken above it once. So it's weakened it up pretty good because it showed that it can get through. Now the more important resistance level and the one that will kind of be a little bit more revealing is going to be this previous high level up here, or it's not previous high, excuse me, the high from today, which was at 0 0.0015. Now if you want to look at these as kind of thermometer levels, you can do that and just think of it as the chart will become hotter and hotter, you know, the more it can close above these levels. So yeah, closing above this would be hot, but closing above this, that would even, you know, make the chart uh, more on fire, and that's what you want to see. Now on the flip side of things, support levels, the main thing is just going to be maintaining these moving averages. You can see that when the 10 day caught up to the price here, it made a big move up. Now you still do have the uh, 20 day down here, which is an important one too. But as long as the uh, support or the price can maintain these two support level moving averages, then you know the chart's going to remain very bullish because it's going to be in a short term uptrend. You also have the 50 day uh, curling up, but this is still way far down at triple zero two, so I'm not really counting that one in yet. But from a support standpoint, you really want these two moving averages to hold strong as your levels. Another one kind of midterm is going to be right here as a support level that, you know, ideally that'd be nice if it could hold. This is at triple zero nine. Is it required? Not required, but ideally if there's any sort of bigger pullback, this is the level you'd like to see hold as a support. Shrinking this up, you can see that you know um, the price is essentially in blue sky breakout territory. Maybe there's some resistances we could find by going back in the previous history, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just see how the how uh, tomorrow reacts to these resistances. But more importantly, next week, uh, since tomorrow is Friday, I only got one day left. But next week will be very telling to see if this was a, a truly strong move or if this was just a, a one day type thing uh, with no uh, substance behind it. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see. If there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting good reviews. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety, something for everybody, and it's all free. So it's worth at least uh, signing up and giving it a try. One more time, this was 
HFBG. Thanks for listening.